review, 2016 Ford Transit Wagon What's new for 2016 The 2016 Ford Transit Wagon gets a rear view camera with tow H assist as standard equipment, while an optional SYNC 3 infotainment system replaces the much maligned My Ford Hatch system. Also, Ford now offers auxiliary fuse panels a heavy duty alternator and a single absorbed glass matte AGM battery as options to meet the additional power requirements of van upfitters. Introduction The passenger market has been evolving for several years as a new generation of maneuverable and fuel-efficient models replace the truck-like old guard. One of the most notable trend setters in this group is the 2016 Ford Transit Wagon. Introduced just last year, the transit breaks from historic norms with its bright and open interior, excellent visibility, comfortable seating and refined ride quality. Make no mistake, this van can still roll up its sleeves and get to work, you can still haul up to 15 passengers or tow up to £7,500. It's just a whole lot more pleasant to pilot than its predecessors. The modest improvements to the 2016 Transit Wagon are aimed at optimizing an already winning formula. On the technology front, the big news is that Ford has ditched its My Ford Touch infotainment system in favor of SYNC 3, which boasts a streamlined touchscreen interface that's more user-friendly. Upfitters should be pleased by the newly optional AGM battery gasoline engines only auxiliary fuse panels and heavy duty alternator, as these additions make it easier to meet the extra power requirements of modified vans. Everyone, moreover, will enjoy the newly standard rear view camera. There are several comparably modern passenger vans on the market, led by the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, the one that started the shift away from boxy, truck-based beasts. It offers loads of flexibility and an agreeable driving character, but it's also expensive. The rammed Pro Master offers only one roof height and requires buyers to go through an upfitter for passenger compartment outfitting, additionally, it's the only direct travel with front wheel drive. Nissan's NV passenger van sticks with a truck frame and offers a V8 engine option but has fewer body styles and less versatility overall. Each van here will work out well as a passenger hauler, but the well-rounded 2016 Ford Transit wagon should be at the top of any shopper's list. Body styles, trim levels, and options the 2016 Ford Transit wagon is offered in XL and XLT trims that are broadly differentiated by some standard convenience features. There are standard and long wheelbase models as well as low, medium or higher roof body styles. An extended or length body can be had on the long wheelbase chassis. The base transit wagon is the 150, but fears also the heavy duty transit 350 with increased payload capacities. Passenger capacity ranges from 8 all the way up to 15, depending on body style. Standard equipment on the XL trim includes 16-inch steel wheels, 6,040 split-hinge passenger side doors on the low roof body style, a sliding passenger door on the medium and higher roof body styles, a tilt handless coping steering wheel, full power accessories, front air conditioning, vinyl front seats, a six-speaker audio system with an audio input jack and a rear view camera. The XLT trim adds wheel covers, rain sensing wipers, a chrome grille, two additional front speakers, a CD player with a 4 inch display, cruise control, full length carpeting, rear air conditioning, rear dome and map lights, and reclining rear seat backs. There are numerous service prep packages for the 2016 Transit Wagon ranging from school bus packages to ambulance prep as well as a variety of choices for seating and colors. Options can be ordered alone or in packages. Highlights include extended side mirrors, various window configurations, different axle ratios, a heavy duty towing package, auxiliary fuse panels a single absorbed glass matte battery gasoline engines only, leather upholstery, 
rear parking sensors, a lane departure warning system, upgraded audio systems, four telematics, basic sync voice controls including a USB port or Ford's new Sync 3 infotainment system with navigation including upgraded instrumentation, voice controls, USB connectivity, HD radio, satellite radio and a 6.5 inch touchscreen display, and 10 and 15 passenger seating 15 passenger seating is standard on the extended body length, long wheelbase variant. A builder's prep package is available for both trim levels, it deletes the rear seating and floor covering and adds dual heavy duty batteries, a heavy duty alternator, a special wiring package and on the XL the 4 inch display and CD player. An RV prep package available for the XLT trim mirrors the builder's prep packages modifications and adds privacy glass and other available preparations for RV upfitting. Powertrains and performance The 2015 Ford Transit Wagon's base engine is a 3.7-litre V6 good for 275 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. For more power, the Transit can be fitted with a turbocharged 3.5-litre V6 that generates 310 horsepower and 400 lbft of torque. Also available is a turbocharged 3.2-litre diesel-powered inline 5 s cylinder rated at 185 horsepower and 350 lbft of torque, though you can't get this engine with a regular wheelbase. All transits come with a 6-speed automatic transmission that sends the power to the rear wheels. Payload and towing capacities vary depending on the model but can be as high as £4,560 for payload and £7,500 for towing when properly equipped. Because of the rules governing commercial vehicles, FIA's only limited fuel economy data on the transit wagon available from the EPA. The regular wheelbase transit wagon with a 3.7-litre V6 is EPA rated at 16 miles per gallon combined 14 city 19 highway. The same model powered by the 3.5-litre turbocharged V6 is good for the same numbers. A kink prop and engine prep package is also available for the 3.7-litre V6. Safety All Transit Wagons get stability control. Anti-lock brakes and frontal, side curtain and front side impact airbags and a rear view camera as standard equipment. Rear parking sensors and a lane departure warning system are options, note that the latter is included with the sync free touch screen upgrade. In government crash testing, the transit wagon was awarded 4 out of 5 stars for front crash protection and 5 stars for side crash protection. Interior design and special features stepping into the 2016 Ford Transit wagon after coming out of an old-school, truck-based passenger van is somewhat akin to getting a new smartphone after hanging up your old curly-corded, rotary-dial desktop model. It's difficult to believe all the features you've lived without for so long. Compared to the old Ford S-Series van. The Transit boasts a generously low steep in height. Fears no more climbing and clambering over wide sills to enter the cabin, and no need to use the rear bumper as a stay when stepping inside the cargo area either, thanks to a low floor. For the dashboard, the look is more family minivan than truck. The tall center console, cluster hand gear selector and easy to access audio and climate controls work in harmony to make the drive go more smoothly. If you care about the latest infotainment technology, the simplified Sync 3 interface offers myriad improvements over the old My 4 Touch system, what's more, the available USB port has been moved for 2016 from low on the center console to a more accessible position above the cup holders. Springing for the XLT trim is worth the cost merely for the cloth upholstery and cruise control, particularly if you plan to use the transit on long highway hauls. Passenger seat layouts run the gamut, depending on the selected length. The standard setup is for 8, with the option for 10 on the regular wheelbase models. 
move to the long wheelbase and there is the option for 15 passenger seating, becoming standard if you select the long wheelbase extended or length transit wagon. Maneuvering to the back rows of seating in all configurations is easy thanks to generous spaces between the seats, with the final row in the 10, 12 and 15 passenger wagons has four very narrow seats, so don't plan on putting full-size adults back there for too long. Maximum cargo volume behind the first seating row ranges from a healthy 224.5 in the medium 8 low roof model to an appropriately cavernous 461.9 cubes in the long wheelbase extended length model with a high roof. Driving impressions The 2016 Ford Transit wagon handles the road in a way no truck based van could hope to match. The steering responds easily and gives feedback more like a family car than a full-size truck. A relatively tight turning circle is another welcome attribute of the transit. Well-managed road and wind noise make the transit's cabin quieter than the norm for full-size vans, although pelting rain hammers the roof and can generate noise in the wheel wells. The transit's standard 3.7-litre V6 has respectable power but may be a bit lacking for those planning to transport a lot of passengers on a regular basis. If that's you, the turbocharged 3.5-litre V6 is a desirable upgrade. The 3.2-litre diesel is quiet and gutsy, though it ultimately lacks the oomph for the 3.5-litre V6. Like the other two engines, it cooperates almost invisibly with the standard 6-speed automatic transmission. Thank you